It means land of expensive shopping. <laughs> Very well named, right? Yeah, yeah. So, actually, the, <laughs> uh, actually the word vi means fresh water or drinking water, and kiki means to spout. So, Waikiki means uh, natural spring or spouting water. Yeah. And this whole area used to be really wet and marshy throughout most of history. All the rainwater that falls on the Koala Mountain Range would come down the Manoa and Palolo Valleys and collect right here in Waikiki and create a real swampy area. It's perfect for growing kala, the main starch crop for the Hawaiians, where they used to make poi out of. This also grew a lot of rice here in later days. But about 100 years ago, they dug a canal down the backside of Waikiki and that drained out all that water, made it all dry and buildable. One of the first big buildings they built after that canal was this big pink hotel over here on the left hand side. That's the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Built all the way back in 1927. And uh, when it was built, yeah, uh, it was actually built by the Matson Shipping Company, which always seems a little weird that a shipping company would build a hotel like that. But you gotta imagine, back in the 1920s, there was no air travel to come to Hawaii. If you guys wanted to visit here as tourists, you had to hop on a ship in California, and it would take you seven to nine days to get here. So, oh, wow. Yeah, it'd be terrible, right, if uh, you guys were at sea that long and didn't have a good place to stay when you got here. So that's why Matson built that hotel, to make sure they always had good places for the people to stay when they got here. But it's not the oldest hotel in Waikiki. The oldest hotel is the one about four buildings to the right. It's got the big banyan tree right in the middle of it there. That's the Moana Surfrider Hotel. Built all the way back in 1901. And when it was built, there were no big hotels out here at all. No big buildings of any kind. It was uh, kind of all by itself out here in the farmland. But they still, they spared no expense. It's, uh, you know, if you guys see it from the street, it's one with the big white columns on it that they light up at night. If you guys had stayed there back in 1901, it would have cost you a dollar fifty a night. Oh, yeah, the rules wow. really haven't changed in the last 120 years, but the prices certainly have gone up just a little bit since then. But, all right, we're starting to get up here now where we got this kind of postcard perfect picture of